While we're on the topic of traveling, a story you need to know about today. Some changes are coming to a portion of I-95, hopefully a welcome one. So we're joined now by News 8's Kent Pierce, live in Norwalk, to tell us what's up. How you doing, Kent? And Jim, I'm doing just fine, but anybody who drives down I-95 through the Norwalk area on a regular basis knows that when you get to the exits, 14, 15 kind of area, you're usually not doing fine. You've got to slow down, sometimes all the way down to where you're barely moving, but something opened up. Friday that's going to help try to ease some of that traffic congestion. Take a look at what I'm talking about because when you get on I-95 northbound like we're doing right now in the Mobile Weather Lab uh, from exit 14, you no longer have to merge over to your left right away. You now have this long acceleration lane here. It goes all the way down to exit 16. Uh, they call it a speed change lane. And the thinking here is more lanes mean less slowing and stopping. Now, this is a bigger project than you might think. Widening I-95 means rebuilding all the bridges over 95 to make them wider, too. They've also had to reconfigure some exits. This is a $42 million project, all told, and it's been going on for almost two and a half years already. It's a testament to how important traffic troubles are to the state and the region's economy. This really is choke point number one on I-95, and we're trying to alleviate that choke point so that people can get back and forth to their jobs, their places of business, uh, to the stores on Connecticut Avenue or wherever they need to go. I've heard about the exit, you know, the exit uh, they've been working on uh, yeah. all uh, you know, summer and the such. Uh, I haven't heard about the new lane. Yes, it's supposed to make merging easier yeah. from 14 to 15 northbound, right. longer acceleration. Yeah. I think it's going to help? Uh, we'll find out. I'll be on it today. Now, we've been on it today a few times already. I don't know it as well as the locals do, certainly, but it's been working well for us so far. Norwalk's mayor says he's already seen a big difference since the lane opened on Friday. It wasn't scheduled to be done for another five months, so local officials see this as a very nice Christmas present to the region. Only the northbound side was done early, however, and that means going to have to wait for the southbound speed change lane until this coming spring. Live in the Mobile Weather Lab in Norwalk, I'm Kent Pierce. Back to you.